uh, agreement or handshake that happens when you believe that you can put your responsibility on other people is guess what? Now you are also responsible for others' failures and success. So now you're just like this web of lies that you have to like maintain to create this non-reality, this, this uh, virtual world or virtual belief, these ideas, these very heavy uh, ball and chains that you have to drag around just got heavier. Because now if you believe that you, uh, they can be responsible for your success and failure, guess what? That means you are also responsible for others. And so it's just, you'll never win. You can never win this battle with this construct. And so we've got to undo this guys. This lie will tend to have you believe something much deeper. And that is you are responsible. You, you are the one responsible for others' thoughts and feelings. So let me give you some examples. So you might say something to someone and it has a really elevated or happy response from them. Like you might say something to someone and they're like, oh, that was great. Thank you. Like that really made a difference. You know, great. I'm, I'm responsible for that. Oh, I love that. You know, superhero Matt, I'm out saving the world and I'm saying things that are making people feel happy and elevated. And then you will say the exact same thing to someone else and they will have an emotional breakdown around it. And if you live in this belief that you're that people are responsible for how you feel and you're responsible for how other people feel, then guess what? Great. Guess I'm responsible for that too. And now you have this bind that's like, gosh, when I say things, I'm I really like being responsible when it's a positive outcome, but I really don't like being responsible when it's a negative outcome. And yet I can say the same thing to two different people and get a radically different response. Guys, just take a moment, soak this in. How can that be so? How can that work? It doesn't, it's a lie. And that's all we're doing here is I'm breaking down the beliefs that we've grown up with been groomed around to have you be free around this. Because once you get free, the way that you'll go out and act in life and make a difference in life will be way more, way more empowering. You'll have way more power than you currently do right now. So success and failure are only personal perspectives. It's like a lens. It's like a pair of glasses you put on and you know maybe one's red and one's green. It's just you see things different. It actually isn't real either. Like these words are just made up words that have meaning behind them. To say it kinder, I might say success and learning. Right? You might even drop the failure idea just to elevate how you talk about this. It's not failure, it's just learning. And you are only responsible for one person's success in learning. It's not your job to play God and to decide for someone what they are to experience next. It's not your job. It's not, it's not your job to decide around success and learning what people are supposed to be learning. It's also not your job to be responsible for how someone's success or learning affects the individual. Maybe they have a positive experience and they really love it. Maybe they, you know, the same thing happens to someone else and they really hate it. But guess what? It's not your job to be responsible for how that happens for them. Now you have no idea what success even looks like for people. Everyone has their own definition and this is why it doesn't work. This is why one thing said to two people can have two different responses. We go around talking, or excuse me, we go around taking all the credit for people's success and no credit for their failures, right? It's like, I'll take the success, but not that thing. We blame others or things outside of ourselves when things don't go our way, but when they do, it's like, eh, I like that. That's okay. So when you displace the power to make a difference outside of yourself, how can you have the impact in it when you are over there? So I just want you to watch this. And I think I cleaned this up. But when, when you give your power away, when you say, I'm not the one responsible for what happened, I call that giving your power away. How can you ever change the success or failure that happened? Because if you've given your power over there, power being the velocity and speed at which you attract the things you want, if you give it away to some person or some thing or some event, then how do you have any power here to change your actual outcome, the thing that you actually want and say that you want? You just can't. It, it, it's, not, it's non-existent. 
So it's time to stop being a victim to the universe uh, not giving you what you want. You know, it's not the universe's fault. It's not God's fault. It's not your parents' fault. It's no one's fault. Because at the moment you give that power away, you have no, you've left yourself no power to make an impact here on you. You are the universe, or at least a part of it, right? You know, maybe, you know, a grain of sand in the ocean, uh, but you are in it at a minimum. You can at least see that. You can't blame God or the universe on this because you are part of it. You're an intricate part and you have impact. And the, the butterfly that flaps its wings in China creates tsunamis over here. I mean, that's the kind of impact that little things have over time uh, and, and the uh, cause and effect, right, that happens with things. So my, I'm going to end with this and I'm going to say that it's time, guys. It's time for you to make a choice. And it's not like 60-40. It's not 70-30 it's time to take 100% responsibility. So take, take the time now, just, just say responsibility is going to be my thing and I'm going to take it on 100%. And, and when people try to displace their power and give me their power, when people try to blame their bad fortunes on me or their good fortunes on me, I'm not going to see it that way. I'm just going to see that like, oh, got it. You're just being a victim to life and you're, you don't know how to be responsible for your own life, but it's clear for me that I'm not responsible for what's going on over there right now. I'm not responsible for what's happening for you emotionally or like the results that you're getting over there. Now, that doesn't mean you can't coach people. That doesn't mean that you can't help people, but I found you will have no access to do that if the person is not being responsible. If they're being a victim, there's no way you'll be able to make a difference for them. If you're being a victim, there's no way the universe or the outside causes can make a difference for you.